All right, there's one thing that Democrats are arguably better at than Republicans, and that's the kind of the nuts and bolts of all the campaign stuff, like getting their voters registered and then making sure they actually vote, either in person or via mail-in ballot. Now, we all know a lot of Republicans prefer voting on Election Day. I'm one of them. Uh, but political operatives have been warning party officials for years that they either step up their early voting efforts or prepare to keep losing. In 2022, according to the U.S. Elections Project, Democrats accounted for 42.5 percent of early ballots, but Republicans only accounted for 33.8 percent. So it's pretty obvious that it's smarter politics to log as many votes as you can as early as possible. Early engagement matters. That's exactly what Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin is trying to do with his Secure the Vote effort before early voting ends on Saturday. Every seat in the Virginia House, which is currently controlled by Republicans, and the state Senate, controlled by the Democrats, is now up for grabs. That's 140 seats on the line on Tuesday. So if Republicans can get voters energized, get them out to the polls, this could mean a GOP trifecta. Joining me now from the latest stop on his Secure Your Vote bus tour, got a rowdy crowd there, Governor. Great to see you. What's at stake with this early voting and getting this election going? Well, we have our entire House, our entire Senate up. I think they're the most important elections in the nation because I think what's at stake is the, the entire future of the platform. We are demonstrated that you can reduce taxes, you can back the blue, you can support parents and put them at the head of the table, you can raise expectations in schools. And we've created 230,000 jobs in 22 months that puts us near the top of the nation. And that's what's on the ballot. And of course, the other side, all they have to sell is fear. And we're talking about hope for the future. And hope beats fear every day of the week. And that's what's on the ballot. And that's why the early voting has been so important. We've seen an uplift in early voting that has been great across the Commonwealth. And most importantly, Laura, in our battleground states, we've really seen a move. And I think this is going to make a big difference when these elections are finally tallied. Now, the Democrats, uh, everyone, you know, has in the D DMV area, D.C., Maryland, or Virginia, they've been pummeled with these abortion ads because that, they think that's going to get women and young people out to the polls. And you say? Well, of course, that's all they have to talk about is fear. And, of course... They're standing for extreme abortion policies. Just three years ago, they wanted to, in fact, enable abortion all the way up through and including birth uh, with no exceptions. And we all remember the former governor saying that we would keep a child comfortable while we decide whether a child lives or dies. We've been talking about a bill to protect life at 15 weeks with, with exceptions where a baby can feel pain. And I believe that this is going to be a decision between no limits and reasonable limits, and it's one that I think we will win. Nearly 70 percent of Virginians support our position, and that, that enables us to then start talking to voters about these most important issues around jobs and schools and parents and crime and building a much better behavioral health system and delivering for Virginians. And as I said earlier, the other side has no agenda whatsoever other than to sell fear. And we are the party of hope in the future, and they're the party of fear. Um, polling of likely voters, Governor, is showing a dead heat for control of the General Assembly right now. Democrats barely edging out Republicans by 1.42 to 41. Uh, why is it so close, given how bad inflation still is, uh, the uh, illegal immigrant situation in Northern Virginia? I mean, even my Democrat friends are like, this is out of control. Um, obviously, that's a federal issue, but still, it's tagged with the, to the Democrats. And, and just the general sense of pessimism about schools and, and where Democrats lead kids off the cliff as far as these social issues go. Well, remember where we're coming from, Lord. 24 months ago, Virginia was completely controlled by Democrats. And then, of course, we, we had the big statement in 2021 where all Virginians came together and we swept the statewide races and we were able to flip our House. The Senate wasn't up. And now we have to finish the job. We did have redistricting and the districts have been drawn very fairly. And so this is a toss up. And this is why we are battling so hard down the stretch to hold the House and flip the Senate. I think our record has been incredibly strong. We have great candidates. I'm here in Henrico County where where Senator Siobhan Donovan is trying to re-win and be re-elected. And, of course, we have great candidates for delegate in, 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 in Riley Shy and David Owen. We've got to get these folks elected. 
And when we do this, we hold our House and flip our Senate. But that is what's on the ballot. And this is so close down the stretch. That's why I've been encouraging Republicans, get off the sideline, go make a plan to vote early. We have early voting all the way through Saturday of this week. And then, of course, the final election is on Tuesday. And we got to get everybody out. We turn out. Republicans vote, Republicans win, and that's what we're about to do in Virginia. But this is going to be tight down the stretch, and we need everybody to turn out and vote. Well, I hope this is a message to Republicans nationwide. Everyone's going to be watching what happens in the results on Tuesday on this off-year election, Governor. But nationally, Republicans have got to get on board, get voting early, and bank those votes. Because, man, we know the Democrats do it. Governor, we'll be watching this. Thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.